and welcome back to my channel. This is Shiny from Glamourous India. Hope all of you are doing great. And I know all of us are doing great. As in the makeup lovers should be doing great because Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with a summer edition, a summer edition makeup. I think if you are a makeup lover and you follow Kylie Cosmetics, you already know that there's a huge mesmerizing bundle coming up like it has highlighters it has loose glitters it has glosses it has matte lipsticks it has nude lipsticks it has velvets it has eyeshadows bronzer like everything except a blush like that's the only thing missing i believe and apart from there that the every everything is included in that particular set and what i love about this particular release is of oh, the tan color it's just to die for the packaging you actually can buy it because of the packaging you know, you just can leave your brains outside and just buy it for the packaging. I know I would do that as well if I was born in US and I had that much of money so that I could spend anywhere and everywhere. But unfortunately, no, I do buy a lot of makeup and do get a lot of comments from a lot of my friends, a lot of my family members like, why are you buying so much? Why do you need so much? Keeping those questions aside, I'm a blogger and I have to do this and now that I have to do this for blogging, I love buying makeup, that is why I buy makeup. I know that sounds a little weird but forgive me, I really am a cosmetic freak. So coming back to Kylie Cosmetics Summer Edition makeup, I saw that there are too many options to choose from like you know, you want lipsticks, you want eyeshadows you want highlighters you want bronzer you want loose glitter you know you you actually have to think like what do you want because you cannot buy everything we don't have money to like, spend 300 dollars behind one set edition because there are even more products coming on and out from different brands it's not only kylie cosmetics which is there in the market so inspired by Shreya jane this is going to be an anti haul video no don't think that i'm not i'm not buying anything from the kylie cosmetics range i am but I'm going to tell you why you are going to buy the whole set. Like what are the things which you can skip. So coming to the very first thing which I think I will buy in the first go is the eyeshadow palette. It comes with 16 colors and it has some different formula and pigmentation which is claimed by Kylie. And I really love the color selection. It's not the typical warms or the typical colors. It is a mixture of both warms, cool tones and colors. The typical chocolate brown and the light chocolate brown has to be there in every palette. So I don't mind having it. But there are some beautiful other shades in the palette as well. I'm going to link the palette picture in the video so that you can see that. So I believe that this palette, I know it would be about $40. It would be like $45 I expect. I don't know it can be more. But I really am intrigued by the palette, the packaging, the colors and everything. And I'm not just not going to put in any more effort to my brains. I will just get this. Next what I'm buying is, I thought of buying this shade, the matte lip kit which is in the shade June Bug. It's a vibrant purple I would say, it's a very vibrant purple. I don't think I have anything in my collection which would be like this. Well if I search and mix 2-3 colors maybe I would end up here but you know I do not have anything which is just exactly this color. But I'm not very sure if I'm getting this because I've already thought of buying the Jeffree Star and You Better Work shade which is also a purple and I feel that's a more wearable purple than the one which Kylie is coming out with. So I'm a little dicey on if or not I should buy this shade but yes it's a lovely shade and if you do not have anything similar in your collection I think you should go for this set. Next would be the nudes. They have two sets of nude, each containing four shades. One is the matte and one is the velvet. So coming to the nude matte, the matte formula is a little drying as you as we already know and the velvets are a very good formula. But coming to the color selection, both of them are the same thing with different formulas. First off, we people belonging to the Indian or Asian skin type rather the Indian skin type is more warmer, darker and do not suit nudes. We have nudes, not that we do not love nudes or not that I do not love nudes. There are very few nudes which work for our skin tone. We have to understand that we do not need a lot of nudes in our life. We already have nudes which suit our skin tone and 
frankly speaking, these nudes are all the warm brown, cool brown toned nudes which I already have in my collection and I'm sure all of you who are a fan of nudes will already have in your collection. Now be it matte, be it velvet, what is concerned, what is concerning is the shade. Now when the shade is nude, I think we can skip on this. So we also have two glosses in this range. Now since I already have the Coco 2 collection ordered, this is also just the previous release which Kylie had for this summer edition. I really love the color selection, the orange, the peach color really intrigued me and I thought that I do not have a Kylie gloss and the bunny shade was also a new type of a nude for me so I ordered that collection and then keeping in mind the glosses look very similar on the lips like they might look different in swatches but on the lips it look very very similar so since I've ordered the Coco 2 range and I already will get a gloss from that range I will skip the gloss from the summer range next we have a highlighter palette now I will have to skip this like I have a dozen of highlighter palettes sitting in my vanity doing nothing hatching eggs and I can never complete or finish up even if I rub highlighter all over my body and face I'm sure I'm never going to end it so this is a clear pass and the next thing there is there's a skinny dip bronzer and highlighter duo I'm not very sure on the price since the prices have not been revealed yet but I am a little keen towards having that bronzer but then I still have the Colourpop duo which I believe is quite near to that and and that was just for $15 I'm not very sure how much Kylie will price this at but you know if it's more than $30, $35 I think I would skip that as well because I have enough of bronzers and it's the same, same brown shade you know so does not make sense actually so I believe I would skip on that as well and the next we have the glitters the loose glitters now it depends on how you're going to use the loose glitters like those loose the glitter shades are nothing extraordinary it's nothing like you've not seen before it's a particular shade that you normally would see find in your vanity if you search if you're a makeup holder I'm sure you're going to get similar shades in your collection now if you are new to the makeup game and you really want to buy something which is a loose glitter then you might give it a shot but again for me I already have similar shades in my collection which would serve the purpose so my confirmed order is the eyeshadow palette. I don't think I would be giving anything else in the order apart from this. I am trying to convince myself that no, 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 you do not need anything else. The eyeshadow palette has wonderful colors. I'm going to put down the swatches for you so that you can see how beautiful the shades are. And I believe that's a good buy. So again, put effort on your brains and think if or not you should invest so much in a particular limited edition thing like you know for even for bloggers one thing that limited edition goes off air and you just cannot show it because people who like your video will not be able to buy it so from a blogger's perspective also we cannot go gaga crazy on a limited edition thing so that's all about what you should or what you should not buy from the Kylie Cosmetics summer edition keeping in mind that these are my personal choices, personal thought, personal perception. Yours might be completely different. You might want to have the highlighter palette and you might want to skip the eyeshadow palette. But that's completely up to you. I will not be putting my thoughts into your brain. But you know, I just wanted to put in a little bit of something which I thought I should think so that I do not spend tons and tons of money on this particular thing. This is what I have been thinking all day when I was in office. So I thought I should do this rambling with you so that you also can save some money. <laughs> Let me know if you like this video. I don't know if it came to any use of you, but it did. But if it did, don't forget to give this a big fat thumbs up. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye. Love you.